Good morning, Dave. Uh, Friday morning here, just a little bit after eight. Wanted to get, grab you a working video uh, as requested in your email I caught last night. I actually have one Monday that was in my download file that actually never got downloaded. So I'm gonna get you that as well. And uh, that way you'll be able to see a bit of progress here from this, this Monday to today, Friday. So as you can see, I have her in a uh, remote down. So a down from a distance on a Coranda bed uh, amongst, you know, some good distractions. Here we got Marie working over here, another dog. We got our whole string of dogs here in training. Uh, parking lots, we got cars rolling in. Lee just pulled in with his truck. Um, again, not bustling uh, Manhattan, but um, grand scheme of things, her biggest challenge was working with dog barking right here. Again, this would send her, she'd be, she'd be racking to that all day long earlier on. She'd be running over there, down. Good girl. So just asking her to be in that down. The down stay really does wonders. And my setter over here barking. The down stay really does wonders for for impulse control arousals. Again, this that just simply that dog barking, I would have lost all resemblance of obedience. Uh, probably a week, week and a half ago, she really started to turn a corner in that regard. Um, got kennel, kennel staff here bringing some food out for us. So again. Working through some distractions. Um, as we get going through the program, we're focusing on uh, three Ds, we'll call it distance, distraction, and duration. So duration is what we're working on right now. Um, so a downstay, you know, as I'm talking here for almost close to two minutes. Um, distance, yeah, I'm about uh, eight feet or so, and looking to send her to objects, you know, right now at this level of uh, her age and training from a few feet apart, but that'll get better as we, we practice and she gets a bit more mature. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab her. I'm going to work her through some leash work, some heel work, uh, place and downs, kind of show you what we're working with, work her um, through some distraction. I'm going to work right up and down the salon, I think. I'm going to do my best here to grab this video with my phone and uh, work her. So bear with me. Oh, yeah. Also, she is looking a little bit ratty this morning. We've been uh, dealing with some damp, wet weather here for the past three days. And she is a rambunctious dog in our socials. They socialize uh, a couple times a day and she likes to find herself playing in some dirt running around with the dogs rolling around so she's actually going to get a bath directly after this video so again i apologize for her appearance and she's white so that doesn't help us all right Lily, here good sit all right good girl again i'd be doing uh i'd be in uh overlaying her sits with whistle sits right now but of course i'm going to talk to you instead so i'm going to put that that part of the drill aside and again, that's, that pertains more to the hunting side of things and the steadiness factor. So, all right, again, another little distraction here. Uh, no more. Yep. Again, <clears throat> yep. if you see me cueing her on a lead, that's really just to um, cue her that we're either changing directions um, we're going to be coming to a stop. It's just a little bit of heads up. It's a cue. So again, I've stopped and she sat naturally. That's something that we look to build as a conditioned behavior because we're going to ask for it every time. So when we're walking on lead, our, our standards are walk with me beautifully at heel, loose lead preferably. When I stop, please sit. And then third one will be spatial drills. So I'm going to show that off right now. So again, I'm gonna walk into her just a bit, kind of crowd her space. Sorry about that lawnmower. I'm gonna walk away over here so that maybe you can hear me. Yep. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place her right now with the lawnmower going. Place. Good. Down. Very good. And I don't think Lee's gonna to get too close up here on the mower, but uh you know, you see like little noises like that. Somebody just clapped out in the distance, one of the trainers. You get the mower. I would have lost all resemblance of obedience um, during the earlier stages. And again, I think that's just a testament to her maturity. So we look to teach things, um, obviously in a, dis in a sterile environment, distraction free up front. And then we look to progress with, uh, as we talk about a little more distractions. So really here, good girl. Yep. So situated here. I'm gonna take her a little walk around the uh, park a lot and go up the, the street a little bit. I focused quite a bit more on leash manners uh, at this front 
Um, overlaying e-collar, I'm just now starting to get a lot more off-leash compliance, if you will. And that, again, that's just me taking it slow, make sure I have the confidence with her. Um, she's a young dog in the grand scheme of things. I'm not even sure she's seven months at this age. So slow and steady, patience and persistence and uh, shaping behaviors. Sit. Good girl. Yep. So if I see that she's mentally checked out, I'll give her just a slight cue on the lead. As late as I possibly can to get her mentally checked in. When she's mentally checked in, physically I'll have the dog. Yep. work her into the agility ring here. If she really gets persistent with sniffing the ground, I'm gonna give her a cue as well. Um, there's a time and place right now, I need a focused dog, I need a dog working for us a little bit. Sit. Right there, a cue. Sit. Good. There's no doubt she has some stubbornness every now and again. I'm gonna open a gate. Again, our standard is the same deal. So right there, training opportunity, sit. Let's try that again. She's a dog that definitely earlier on would bust through doors, bust through kennels, bust through gates. She slid out on me one time out of a social. Luckily, all our, our areas are secondary gated. So if she breaks out of one area, she's generally in another enclosed area for, uh, so we don't, you know, we're not losing dogs. So again, gate here. Good, I'm gonna mark that behavior, good, yep. Can't tell you how many dogs we hear about, the door opens in the front, the, you know, the front door opens, the dog runs out, possibly there's a street there, that could be a bad deal. Um, I'm gonna train that pretty firmly for everybody's safety. Okay. We'll get this purple top here. Ask for a place in the down. Place. Down. So here's where I start to lose it. There's another dog out there. Down. Helping her out a little bit. Good. So there's the mentorship that I need to continue to help with her. Um, I'm still going to do a uh, yeah, amount of effort in the training, meaning I'm going to ask her once or twice. Um, I'm either gonna assume, well, I'm not gonna assume at this point, I'm, I'm very aware that she knows the down command. It's more selective based on the level of distraction here and dogs and humans are her biggest challenge. So again, I just kind of guided her to a down position in that element. All right, pull her up. We got a couple trainers walking in here. Really, here? Good boy. Yep. So downs are probably my, let's see, you know, in order from strongest to uh, need more work here. You know, heel looks great. He looks much better with distraction. Uh, sit, she's doing really nice when we ask her to sit. Place has come along. Uh, downs are probably the thing I need to continue to focus on the most. Sit. Good girl. I'm gonna walk out this back way. And actually what I'm going to do right now is going to go up to our top field here. I'm going to give her a fun bumper or two. She really loves to retrieve. And again, another... Oh, there we go, get a little bathroom break. Um, actually, there's a mark. So, a little uh, boldness coming out of her a little bit here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up to this top field up here. And give her a fun bumper. And this is how I like to end each session with my young dogs. They generally remember the last thing we worked on. So, you know, there's a lot, there's been a lot of control during this session, if you will. So what I want to do is end on a foam bumper. So a nice retrieve. And earlier on, this was something I had to do with a long line because she loved to play keep away. And she's been really, uh, the past week or so, sit. Good. She's been really doing a phenomenal job of bringing the bumper back to me. Now again, all that is is a recall with something in her mouth and it's something of value. So there's some relational stuff happening there too. So um, we have a top field here. And again, we're at the other end of our field here where we started. 
and not only has she improved with bringing the bumper back but she's improved with her hole conditioning so her not dropping the bumper uh three four five times on her way back to me sit um has been a really nice thing too so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bump her in the back of my pocket bear with me here all right again this is all about attitude and control um there's a lot of control in that in the uh, earlier part of that lesson you can see she's focused um a little bit poised there and uh now it's about getting her attitude back up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good girl, good girl, good girl. Go get that. That a girl here. We're a beautiful Rico. Good girl, good girl. Good leave, not a drop. I love that stuff. Again, especially when we're talking about a future hunting dog. Um, Millie. Okay, but one more. What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? Go get that. Good girl here. All right. Millie, here. <laughs> Good girl. Here, leave, sit. Sit. Good. Anyways, she's doing well. Um, for a young pup, under seven months, I'm really proud of her progress. She's got a lot of growing up to do. So it's, uh, we're gonna continue to shape her behavior and not allow bad habits to um, create and uh, form. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, hopefully, uh, just a little bit of insight to her progress. And she looks good outside of some uh, dirt and all that good stuff. We're going to get her scrubbed up here this morning, whiten her back up again, and go from there. All right, guys. Have a good weekend, and we will talk soon.